Last time on Resurrect Priest, I decided that Plague of Death is really good in the meta. And also, maybe the meta is low enough that we can use Activate the Obelisk. The Madman! I am the Slayer of Kings and Gods. The light shall bring victory. Kings and Gods, huh? Well, I have many kings and gods. And queens in this deck. I'm going to disguise my quest. Don't play it in order to encourage him to attack me. Ah, oh, you will tell him. Womp womp. Six answers for evil totem in this deck, and I would have mulliganed for them. Wine, wine, wine. I wonder if he'll stop attacking me once I'm like, ha, quest! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> it's like really intimidating. Oh my god, this whole time he chose not to play the quest and bait me to attack. Do I not attack? Do I attack? Oh no! Oh, here comes the big evolve. Here comes Mass Hysteria. I don't think I'm happy that he got a 0-9. That's bad for Mass Hysteria. We'll see. Big bad board to mass hysteria. I thought about it for a moment. So the thing that tipped me over for the quest is if I think Water Bear is good enough to run even in non-quest, then why not just put I in the quest? From nothing power. What? Let's run this quest shot and run that. That is next level meta. Wait, he's not quest shaman. Wait, what is- what does- Ignore me. Ignore what I just said. Ignore! Please ignore! <laughs> Please ignore. The end begins. If I light bomb, there's only going to be a 4-1 left over. But if I mass hysteria, there might be nothing left over. Not too quickly. Kick the bucket. Card for him to get. You can be whatever you want. Basically, the first time the opponent shows weakness on Mass Resurrection. But if it's strong, 
and I'll plague him to death. That looks strong. Hmm, that might be a bait strong. It's strong enough. Guys, ready for advanced plays? Oh, this looks sick. Free of that blast Brilliant. Yeah. You surprised me. <laughs> Distract yourself with I just need one more removal. Mass Resurrection could be enough also. Um, he didn't overload that turn. And he's out of cards, so this is actually 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11. Okay, so Mass Resurrection, get the Vargoth, get the Water Bear, and then uh, get another Water Bear. Wait, does that even work? No, that doesn't work. No. Mm. Job done. Oh, there are two water bears in there. Nice. I would have preferred the water bearer to Vargoth because uh, I need the five health meow. As opposed to three more minions, I think. So nice. Nice. Mass Resurrection or Katrina Morte and heal myself. Actually, heal this. That's probably better. All right, who's thirsty? I'm so thirsty right now. Thirsty for victory. like despair to me. Now the question is do I heal myself? Now nah, let's let's go full despair. I see a dark The mirror, but this time I have an obelisk. I mean, this is the only deck out there, right? Wait, no, that's not true. There's still combo priest. Imagine if it's quest priest versus quest priest. We have to snipe each other's heals. Oh, no return heal. It's a VM. Okay, let's see. I've got a 4-drop, I've got a 5-drop. I guess I'll... Reveal the quest! I see a dark future. That's why you run this card for this high roll. The most powerful snap jaw. Hurdle? Greetings, fellow humans. 
that what the card's called? Hmm. Oasis Snapchat. Ah no uh, yes, my good old friend Oasis Snapchat. I'd hate for the omit to get stolen, but I guess I'm not that sad if it does. I think I just kind of sit here. We can uh, make the board even more complex. It seems fun. Right. Oh, that's a lot of board tension. Currently, Katrina Morte is 100% to get omit. Oh, the sadness. Womp, 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 womp. We end. I have no time for games. Oh, no, I'm sad. <laughs> hmm. Among Us with Reborn. That's pretty spooky. I do want to delay the Plague of Death as long as possible, so even though I plan on Plague of Deathing, because things look pretty bad, I think I still just kind of chill. That was a pretty sweet guaranteed steal of vomit, if he wants it. I have no time for this. Uh, overcommitting. I love it. The greed man. And welcome to the reason why there are two Plague of Deaths in this deck. Uh, are you thinking about playing another card? You're kidding. No. Alright. I can actually figure out what's in his hand based on the fact that this didn't summon seven things. Interesting. I'm just taking a moment to think about what's in the deck. Uh, two Psycho Pumps already played, one Full Trader plays, was played, Sylvanas was played, so Nazoth is in the hand. I think that's about all I can deduce from this. I mean, Nazoth being in the hand is a scary reason to not use my last theory, but uh, I kind of make the assumption that. I will be able to bail myself out. Ah, Rising Oath. Also a card. Also, I probably should have healed one of the defenders now that I think about it. Oh, my own Zerx. Nice. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's a strong Zerx. What's gonna happen? Who knows? Yes! How did that 3 1 not die? Okay, now the quest part of this deck is very superior to his deck. Now that just uh, is a big threat on its own right. Now I have to think about, do I commit even more stuff or is the opponent already super scared? Because if I play Katrina, they're definitely playing Plague of Death. I think I just chill. That's my advantage of having the quest complete. I get the uh, right of delay or something. Okay, well now I have to play stuff. I must consider. I have no time for games. Oh, 
really allows for pretty complicated board states to appear. Although, now that I look at it, I clearly don't understand the intricacies of Sylvanas. Oops. Seance version is definitely pretty good in that it can you know, play those off sands. It's definitely pretty good. Our home, our tombs. You have to have exactly the Zoth and Seance in your hand while you're playing. It just seems tough. Did he play a seance while I wasn't looking? He did? Oh. Okay, so there's two disasters to deal with. I have one Plague of Death for one of them. So similarly, I want to try to position myself to be able to steal Sylvanas. I have to deal with two Nazos, and I also have to do deal with two Mass Resurrections. Whereas on my side, my only threat left is Mass Resurrection. But I do have the ongoing threat of Obelissa. And I do have a Katrina Morte, that's a threat. The opponent has only used one Mass Hysteria, so I can assume they have four more AoE. I have a Plague of Death and a Mass Hysteria. <laughs> There are two mass hysteria left. I need to clearly minimalize the AoE effect. Which, by using my hero power, I mean, it's a lot of value. Technically, every minion I have is a threat. Technically. I guess that means I'm allowed to play my own Katrina Morte. I wanted to play this when I was, uh... The goal is to stay slightly ahead, basically. Be enough ahead that if they have to use an AoE, at least they're friendly firing their own stuff. Wow, no AoE. Apparently I didn't make this tasty enough yet. Interesting. Does he not have it in his hand? Are they all in the deck? I thought I had overdone it. Bad. 
it's interesting. It's a clash of two ideologies. I must consider... The idea that the seance Nazoth is the way to get the incredible amounts of Ellie versus the idea that the way to do it is with quest. Who is correct? Well, that's not bad. You're going down with me, Solonis. Though I get one freebie on the first Nazah, the Plague of Death. Maybe if it's a good enough Nazoth result, maybe I can mass hysteria. Maybe if there's like a lot of Sylvanas that come up instead of Cartoot defenders. They've had a lot of Sylvanas die. I might be able to answer Nazoth Nazoth with mass hysteria plague of death. If it ever comes down to a tie situation, my obelisk eye heals three instead of two, so that seems better. If we assume the opponent runs five AOE, then they have still got four. Which is a lot of AOE. With the quest, my main benefit is that everything is a pretty big threat just by having a guy. So, the question is, do I play card 2 Defender? Is one at a time the way to go? Oh, I'll just pass. I think the game will go well enough that one at a time is probably the way. Why, intruder? Okay, their board's now quite a bit better, so we can just... I'm just trying to keep pace. Trying to make sure Sylvanas can't kill herself somehow. I mean, can't kill a guy, steal a guy. If it attacks the same person, it steals, and that's okay. I must consider... <laughs> okay. I was fine with that result. Really. There's a dance going on. We all know the other person has a bunch of AoE. And we all know that all of that AoE has to be used. The key is to never get too far ahead. Am I willing to just settle on a tie board? Just Shadow or Death? Or do I want to go for the Mass Resurrection? I'll go for Mass Resurrect. And this makes it that my board isn't that much better than his. He's got a 9-6 that he has the friendly fire. Oh, Mass Spell. Well done. Face. Oh, another master spell. Mistake! I think my right play is to go lightly here. I'm going for the long. Make your AoE continue to be bad. This might be enough for a mass hysteria. But if he's playing Mass Hysteria, he's not playing the Zoth. Okay, cool. I should keep up the pressure because he's under pressure to play Nazoth. I think my answer is actually pass. Because if I only play a small threat, 
He plays those off, and I have to clear anyways. Yeah, so... The ball's in your court, buddy. That's a... Plague of Death. So mass hysteria, mass hysteria, or mass hysteria archmage, perhaps. Well played. Our home, our That's a really good result for us. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Outvalued! 